How's it going everybody? Six Speed here and today I got a super fire tutorial for you. I'm going to be teaching you how to remake the bass from Phase 1 and Yuki's new track, State of Emergency. Oh my god, I know, right? Anyways, this is what the bass is going to sound like. <laughs> But yeah, without further ado, let's get to this, boys. So, today, before we start the tutorial, just gotta give a quick shout out to Top Choice Audio because this is going to be the home of my new sound design tutorials. So if you guys wanna make sure to stay up to date on all the Spire content that's coming, and trust me, this new one is just the tip of the iceberg, so you're gonna wanna subscribe and join that notification crew because you're not gonna wanna miss out on the stuff that I got coming. Um, but anyways, without further ado, let's jump over into Ableton and teach you guys how to make this bass. So, first things first, everybody. Let's go and initialize a preset. Bam! Okay, so we're done with that. Next thing we're going to do is play with the LFO, because instead of doing my usual macro, I'm going to be doing LFO for this bass today. So, first things first for LFO 1, we're going to drag this up like a so, and then we're going to give it a nice square butt end there like a so, and we're going to do envelope for the trigger. This all, L, everything else here can stay the same. For LFO 2, we're going to bring this all the way to the, to the top and to the corner, and then on the first line that you see there, we're going to bring a node down, but not all the way. We want it just kind of near the bottom. Feel free to experiment and play with that. If you like that, do it. But I personally am not a fan of it all the way down. So um, I'm, I leave a little bit of space there. And then for the third node, we're going to put it right here, not on the, the middle line between LFO 3 and LFO 2. We're going to put it on the one just after here at the same level as the second node there. And then for the final or the second to last node, we're going to put this basically under the O on LFO 4. And then we're going to put a nice square end on that as well. But we're also going to bend this down so it gives it a nice little arc and makes the sound be like Bleh! instead of just being a regular Bleh! right because that's boring. We need to have lots of movement in our sounds. So that is uh no sorry I'm wrong. We're also going to go we're going to click envelope here as well and then we're going to bring the rate down to two bars. And then that is it for LFO2. And then for LFO3, everything can stay the same, but we're just going to bring the rate down to one quarter. And uh, now we are going to click mono and legato, and as well we are going to turn on our porta for about 18 milliseconds because we love our notes to glide, because gliding is so sexy, like those little gliding squirrels. Um, and then after we do that, let's go up to the sub tab here. We're going to do direct out, and we're going to bring the level all the way down. Everything else can pretty much stay the same, but we're gonna throw LFO one on for about 23%. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, there. Now let's go to the noise tab and we are going to go to attack miscellaneous and then we are gonna go to icon snare rim. We're gonna bring the phase all the way up. We're gonna bring the pitch to about 65%, bring the level all the way down, throw LFO one on there and we're gonna go for about 20%. Um, and then from here, we want to move on to oscillator A. So for oscillator A, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the digital wavetables and we are going to open up the bus A because that is the bus wavetable, you see. And then detune it by one, one octave, and uh, bring the level down all the way. Throw FM from B on there because you basically got to throw FM from B on everything for about 31%. And then we're going to throw LFO2 on FM from B, but we're going to bring it down to about negative 38% just so it turns off the FM filter um, with this. And then as well, we're going to go back to LFO1 and we're going to put that on the wavetable position for 80%. And then after we complete that, let's head over to the, the level on oscillator A and we're going to put LFO1 on there as well. And we're going to keep it up at about 100%. Uh, finally, we're going to go to LFO3 and we're going to throw LFO3 on the CRS and we're going to do the shift alt trick and click on that bad boy there and drag it down to about 2. So we don't want it to uh, uh, make the vibrato too apparent, but we definitely want to be able to have that option. 
Um, and here's a quick trick. Your sound's gonna sound like absolute garbage, like at this point, like it's not gonna sound anything. You'd be like, Quinn, you're crazy. You know, you sitting here trying to tell us that this is a phase one bass. This sounds nothing like a phase one bass. Well, anyways, there's a couple more steps and then we will be there and I'll show you the key feature to making this bass sound like what I told you guys it was gonna sound like. So before we do that though, let's quickly jump over to the matrix here and you see the LFO3 tab, we're gonna go over, it says A cross pit. We're gonna move on over here to under auxiliary source. We're gonna hit this bad boy and we're gonna throw it to macro two so we can now control our vibrato. So when it is disengaged like so, you won't hear it. But when you do engage it like this, you will hear it. And that is how you can basically make vibrato and have it turn on and off. You can use that on any other bass as well. You don't just have to use it on this one. Um, but yeah, uh, the next thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna throw uh, FM or macro one, I'm sorry, on the FM from B and we're gonna turn it down to about 10% or 9% because we just wanna be able to make a little bit more versatile sound. So instead of making an entire second bass, you can change the harmonics of this bass um, and basically get a second bass out of the same bass just by playing with the automation, right? So who doesn't love that, right? Um, but anyways, let's move on. So that's pretty much it for oscillator A. So now that we're on to oscillator B, all we really got to do is turn it up one octave and bring the level all the way down and that's it now this is the key feature this is what is going to bring this sound together we're going to turn on filter go to miscellaneous and pull up that reverb filter we're going to bring the cutoff all the way down and we're going to throw lfo2 on the cutoff for about 52 percent 54 percent somewhere in there everything else can stay the same except we are also going to turn on the filter key track um, just because it makes it sound a little bit nicer. Um, it, I mean, you can use it without it, but it just makes it all sound a little bit better and more together if you have the filter key track on there. Um, but now, that is honestly pretty much it for the sound. So now what we just need to do is go into the effects tab and all we're really gonna do is throw a compressor and an EQ on there. So I'm gonna go over to the compressor and quickly just tune this to taste and then uh, you guys can follow the instructions. So that's pretty much all you gotta do for the compressor. Legitimately just turn it up by 10 dB, turn down your master a little bit, and make sure you click that multiband. Um, now we're gonna high pass with the EQ. We're gonna bring the Q down, and we want to bring the frequency down and it's just because um, we're going to throw LFO 2 onto the frequency here and we're going to bring it down a little bit just so the sound we'd want it so that it cuts the low end out as the sound progresses but when it first initially hits we want some decent low end in it but then it cuts it out or filters it out like so <laughs> sorry I have it the wrong way we have to bring it down this way in order to do that Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bell and we're gonna increase the gain by about 2.5. Bring the uh, the Q down and uh, we're gonna increase it a little bit more to about actually 6.3. Bring the frequency down and bring the Q down. And we are gonna throw LFO3 onto the frequency but only for a small percent, something like this. <laughs> And it just adds a little bit more movement to the sound. You don't need to put that on there. You can actually delete it if you don't like it. I just personally like it because it just spices up the sound a little bit more. So thank you guys so much for tuning in again. Hope you guys learned something useful today because that's what this is all about, right? Giving back to the community. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Join that notification crew as well because got lots of fire content coming for you guys as well. Um, make sure to check out the Top Choice website. Give them some love as well as let us know what you'd like to see from future content. Thank you guys so much and have a great night everybody. Six Speed, out.